Hello and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. The 2012 budget was handed down by the Conservative government this Thursday. Castanet spoke with UBC Assistant Professor of Economics Ross Hickey about the penny-pinching budget. We should have been increasing the GST. We should have been reducing corporate income taxes. The, these are the kinds of policies that would have been more pro-business. Um, the fact that we didn't see any corporate income tax reductions uh, shows me that this is not really in the interest of that sector. This is a very political budget setting the tone for what we're going to see in the next couple of years. Former elementary school teacher Deborah Ashton was found not guilty this week of sexually assaulting one of her students. Ashton was arrested in 2008 after the school's district superintendent received an anonymous letter about the alleged three-year affair between Ashton and a student. BC Supreme Court Justice Allison Beams told the court that she did believe there was evidence of a relationship between the complainant and Ashton, but that there was not enough evidence to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. This is a one-trick pony case. Could he be believed to have sex over 200 times with somebody uh, in any situation, whether it's a teacher, student or whatever, not to see a tattoo as big as a basketball in somebody's stomach is simply a lie. This is the second time Ashton stood trial on the same charges. The first was back in 2011 and it ended in a hung jury. Flames destroyed a home near Wilson Landing on Wednesday night. The structure was fully involved by the time fire crews arrived. The occupants of the residence, a man and a woman, were not home at the time of the blaze. Their pets, however, were, but they managed to escape safely. The cause of the fire has not been determined. Two snowmobilers spent the night outside in Myra Canyon after their sleds were trapped in a gully. Central Okanagan Search and Rescue were called to locate the men who were eventually found at the base of Little White Mountain. In the worst place you could be. It's just the snow conditions yesterday we got caught in. And it was good base but a foot of snow was wet and it was piling up in front of the machines and then we couldn't go uphill. So we got stuck. The men were equipped for the elements, carrying matches to build a fire and tea to keep warm. Well, that wraps up Castanet's Week in Review. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jen Zielinski. Remember to send your news tips to news at castanet.net and follow us on Twitter at, at Castanet News.